Hello folks, this is Ted White, and today I'll be showing you how to change perspective in CapCut PC for video, images, and text. Now this is a pro effect that we'll be using today, so in order to pull this edit off, you will need a subscription to CapCut Pro. Let's check it out. All right, folks, so the first thing we're going to do today is import the files in which we'll be editing with. So you select import there, and then what you do is you click and drag so hold the click drag over the three files and highlight them and then select open from there i'm going to click off the files so that none of them are highlighted here we have a picture okay an image here we have a video and here we have a background we're not going to be doing any editing to the background uh, we will be doing some prepping with the video here and the image. So first I'm going to select the video, I'm going to click on it, hold the click, drag and drop it to the timeline. Okay, And then I'm going to go over to video. Under video there is basic and scale. With scale I'm going to oh, I'm going to highlight 100 and I'm going to type in 70 and enter. Hit enter. Okay, And then as you can see we have a black border around our video so and this is a video it's not an image okay and what I will do is under video under basic I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom okay where it says canvas and then I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to expand where it says none so just click on none and then go down to color all right click on that and then I'm going to expand this scroll down a bit and I'm gonna select green all right, what we're gonna do is we're going to use chroma key to remove this and just have the video overlaying the background, but I will show you this in time, okay? So that's what I wanted to do with the video. All I'm gonna do is go up to export and select that. Now we could create a compound clip, but I'm going to do this one at a time and it's just cleaner and easier if I export now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to call this one P1 and then I'm just going to check where this is exporting to. So it says export to and then I'm just going to hit this file and I just want to know, make sure it's going where I want to go and it's going exactly where I want to go. So I'm going to select that folder. Okay. And then I'm going to move myself back here and select export. And that's all done. Hello. So now I'm going to select cancel. I'm going to right click on this and click delete. Okay. And then I'm going to right click on this and click delete. Okay. We're going to keep things clean today. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. So I'm going to click on the image, hold the click, drag and drop that to the timeline. Okay. Another thing I'm going to do just before I forget is go to ratio and I'm just going to make it 16.9 which is just regular um, video ratio. All right. And so we have this image highlighted and then you can go video basic and then scale. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to put 70% enter. Okay. That's what I want. So then it goes video basic. We're going to scroll down to the bottom. We're going to go to canvas, click on none, go down to color, and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to make that green too. And then I'm going to go up to export and select export. And then I'm just going to call this P2. Okay. And then I'm just going to click export and then cancel. And then I'm going to right click on this. and click delete. And then I'm going to right click on this one and click delete. I'm going to click on the background, hold the click, drag and drop that to the timeline. Okay. And then I'm going to select import. I'm going to go to import and I'm going to go to P1, which is the video. All right. So I'm going to select this and then click open. And then I'm going to drag and drop this as an overlay on top of the background. And then I'm just going to reduce the volume a bit so that it's not too loud. And then our next step 
is I'm gonna go make sure that the overlay or the video here is highlighted, not the background, the video. And then you're gonna go video basic and then remove BG and we're just gonna go to chroma key and then we're gonna go to color picker, all right? And then I'm gonna click it again and we are just gonna hover over the green and then we're gonna click and now the green is gone. And then one thing I'm quickly gonna check is I'm gonna zoom in and just see there's no green bordering anything that I can see here. So I'm just going to hit the zoom icon, which is right here. And then you just click on this cursor here and bring it to your right. And then you can just go up here, check the different corners. And that's how you zoom in on the preview screen, which I've shown in another video there. So I'm going to click back on the zoom. I don't see any green anywhere. I'm gonna click on the scroller here and just bring it back to where this little small vertical line is on my left. And that's regular screen. All right, so now let's see how the magic happens. So we're gonna go up to effects, the effects tab. We're gonna click on that. And then I'm just gonna type one in here. I'm gonna type in P-L-A-Y-E-R, player three, okay? I'm gonna hit enter. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this down to the timeline. And I'm gonna, sorry, drag and drop. So I'm gonna click on it, hold the click, and then drag it down to the video, okay? In the middle of the video. And then I'm gonna release. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring the cursor over a bit. And I'm gonna go to my right where the special effects are here for this player three effect. And we have to make some adjustments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to glow and I'm going to take away the glow. So I'm just gonna click on this and take it all the way to the left. There, this is normal picture. I'm also gonna scroll down to texture and I'm gonna take this and go all the way to the left. And what's that gonna, what that's going to do is get rid of the opacity for this particular music here. So as you can see, that is gone. And then I'm gonna scroll up and I'm just going to select rotate and then it is going to rotate the video for me, okay? And you can rotate it up to 100% and if you wanted to rotate it further, you can do that. All you have to do is click on the effect, drag and drop it down again. Sorry, I didn't do that correctly. I gotta delete that. You can click on the effect, drag and drop it down a second time right into the middle of the video. And then you go through the same process of getting rid of the glow and taking the texture back. And then you can rotate even more if you wanted to. But I think that's plenty, you know, um, for what we're doing here. So what I'm gonna do is just go to the effect and go to this player and we'll just delete one of the effects here. So I'm gonna right click delete and we're just gonna keep it here. We're gonna go to the rotate and we're just gonna rotate it a little more, all right? And then I'll just play it for you just to give you a heads up. So what it does have a zoom in, a zoom up feature or kind of fade in feature from the bottom. It kind of um, slides up a little bit. So you can get rid of that and I'll show you how to do that. So. Hello folks, this is Ted White. And today I'll be showing you how to change perspective in CapCut PC for video, images, and text. Now this is a pro okay, so effect you see how that, that works. Using um, so that's pretty cool. So it now gives an angle, it gives us a new uh, opportunity um, just to kind of show our viewers something different. So how you get rid of that um, fade up effect here is you right click on, 
So you'll click off of this and then you'll right click on the clip. You'll create a compound clip and then you'll take the playhead and just take it to after it kind of starts, after it does the fade up. So this would be before and this would be after. So you would just split and then right click on the clip you want to delete or the part that you want to delete and select delete. Okay. And then there, that fade up is gone and it's got everything that you want. All right. So that is how you add perspective to video in CapCut PC. And it's the exact same thing for uh, image. Okay. So I'll show you an image next. So let's go to media and we'll go to import and we'll go to P2 and then open and we'll drag and drop P2 down to the timeline here. And then what we'll do is we'll just go over to, so it'll be like, let's say like this video basic. And then you just go to remove BG and then chroma key and then color picker. And you click color picker again, you bring it over, over the green, you click. Okay. And then it's gone. And then you go over to effects, you type in P L A Y E R three enter player three comes up. As I mentioned before, it's a pro feature. So you, you can't do this on a free, you can only do it on pro. So I'm going to drag and drop this down to right in the middle of the image. Okay. And then this is going to do the same thing where it's going to fade in. All right. And we have to make the adjustments first. So you can just go glow, click on the glow, hold the click, move it to the left. Uh, as for the texture, click on the texture, hold the click, move it to the left. All right. And then rotate where the magic happens. We can rotate it this way now. Okay. And then we have a rotation there. So now we've got a perspective that looks pretty cool and that's what we want. And we can do the same thing if you want to cut out that automatic. So this is what it automatically does. Okay. Is it has that little zoom up. If you want to cut that out. So like for instance, right here, you would just right click, create a compound clip and then go to split here and then right click on where you want to delete the part of the clip you want to delete and select delete and that is gone. All right. And then the final thing I'll show you. So that's the image. So it's pretty basic, uh, pretty good. And then I'll just delete this. And the last thing we'll do is easy. It's just perspective. Um, so I'm just going to go to text. Um, I said perspective, but it's actually text. Um, I'm, go I'm going to write perspective. So I'm going to select the text tab, select default text, drag and drop it down to the timeline. Okay. Uh, let's just say I'll make it just so I'm going to click on the edge of the text box, make sure it's highlighted, click on the edge and drag it so that it's the same size as the background. doesn't really matter. Um, and then I'm going to delete default text and I'm going to type in P E R S P E C T I V E perspective. Okay. And then I am going to put the font as let's say SQL. Okay. And then I'm going to take it, bring it up so you can see it. Um, I could also put some sort of uh, border around it here stroke. Okay. Perspective. Now you can see it. All right. So I'm going to put it in the middle. We'll just leave it in the middle now that it's got the stroke behind it. And then what we'll do is just, we'll right click this, create a compound clip, and then we will go to effects and then player three, I'm going to drag and drop this down. Okay. Onto the text and then what we can do is go to glow 
and click on this and drag it to the left and then click on texture hold the click drag that to the left and then all we need to do is go to rotate and we can rotate it so that's pretty cool you folks can use this for your thumbnails or whatever you want um, so I'm not sure if you were aware of this this is pretty new and this is why I'm making a video about it okay so anyway I hope this tutorial helped you out I hope you have a great day thanks a lot bye bye